With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In an experiment to find the focal length of a uh, concave mirror, the graph uh, is drawn between the magnitudes of u and v. The graph looks like. So when you are taking a focal length of a concave mirror, the equation for the focal length of a concave mirror will be 1 by f is equal to 1 by u plus 1 by v, which is called as a mirror equation. So 1 by f is this value given with it. Now when you see to this, uh, you can write the uh, equation for u, the object distance, where u is the object distance, v is the image distance and f is the focal length. So if you are writing this equation for 1 by u, 1 by u will be equal to 1 by f minus 1 by v. So you can see it like uh, if you are differentiating this equation, so what you will get the equation, you will get it as minus 1 by u square du is equal to, f is a constant of focal length, so you will write it as 0, 0 plus 1 by v square into dv. Now when you see to this equation, see dv by du, du when you are taking here, dv by du will be equal to, minus v square by u square. So this will be the relation if you are differentiating object distance with respect to image distance. So here dv by du if you have this part dv by du this denotes that the slope value. Okay, You are plotting u versus v no. So dv by du gives you the slope of the graph and the slope of the graph see here you have a minus sign which means that the slope is negative. So if the slope is negative so either the curve C should be correct or curve D should be sorry curve A should be correct. So if the slope is negative because it should be decreasing right. So these two when you see here B and D when you see here the graphs are increasing but since you have a negative slope here, it means the graph should be decreasing. So, either A or C should be correct. But the slope should depend on the value of V and U. And it keeps changing as per the point in the equation above. And when you see it here, the ratio which you have is not a linear variation in the equation. So, that is why you can say that option C is the right answer. So, since you don't have a linear variation between V and U, you say that it is a decreasing with a non-linear variation of V and U. So, option C will be the right answer. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.